How's it going guys and welcome to my reaction to Season 1, Episode 1 of Star Trek, The Man Trap. Um, I actually did do a reaction to the pilot episode, uh, The Cage, but unfortunately there was an issue with the screen. Um, so the audio was there, but the screen came up black, like just a black screen. Um, so I don't know why that happened. Um, uh, so that was an unfortunate issue, so I couldn't put it up. But I'll just give a quick... Uh, uh, Recap or not recap but review on that episode what I thought my thoughts on it. Uh, I really liked um, Jeffrey Hunter like, I thought his um, character captain was a captain Pike um, I Really felt like he was a figure. I could have got behind as the series went on. I liked him um, I liked um, The doctor slash Bartender guy. I thought he was interesting as well. Spock I was surprised he was quite had a, quite a subdued role in, in the piece. Thought he'd be more prominent in it. Um, the story itself reminded me a little bit of the storyline in Beneath the Planet of the Apes, where these kind of mutant humans figures that can kind of um, you know can kind of uh, make you see things that aren't really there, create illusions, and have this kind of power and abilities that can get inside your mind. So I saw some similarities there, but I definitely enjoyed it. I liked the vibe of it. I did enjoy it. Uh, just unfortunate what happened with the reaction, but I thought I'd kind of touch on it a small bit before I get into this episode, which is obviously the first episode with Captain Kirk and the main crew going forward from here on in. Uh, so, yeah, obviously I plan to watch the entire series and then I would go on to the movies. And just a bit of more context on Star Trek, like, I, Next Generation is, like, I, I don't know if you can see, but the bottom of the box set there is my favourite TV show of all time. I grew up watching it as a child, and then when I would kind of revisit it, Revisit, revisited it as an adult uh, I just be, fell in love with it even more and just an amazing show I always loved the kind of philosophical stuff that it raised so I'm hoping I know this one is kind of a, probably a little more campy which listen isn't always a bad thing but I hope it still has traces of the philosophical uh, components to it I obviously know Gene Roddenberry created this one like he did with Next Gen so I do hope they kind of pose philosophical questions as well as kind of that 1960s science fiction kind of action adventure uh, components to it as well um, But guys with that said if you enjoyed the reaction a like and a comment would be fantastic and uh, I'll also have a full uncut um, Reaction of this episode on my patreon as well L leave a link in the description if you want to check that out uh, And as always just a big thank you to my subscribers to Ravi JM63 to Mary to Jenny to Jared to blaze and to GG Gooding uh, Thank you so much for the support uh, well, with that said, guys, let's watch Season 1, Episode 1 of Star Trek, the original series, The Man Trap. Captain's Log, Stardate 1513.1. Our position, orbiting planet M113. Spots on the bridge. Temporarily in command. Planet, the ruins of an ancient and long-dead civilization. Routine medical examination of archaeologist Robert Crater and his wife Nancy. The fact that Nancy Crater is that one woman in Dr. McCoy's past. Oh, so there's a link. Usually in Next Generation, Picard will always stay in the bridge. Two classic kind of science fiction shows that Shatner was on was this, obviously, and he was in two episodes of Twilight Zone as well. Nervous, Dr. McCoy? That guy could die. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Lenny. Nancy. Hello. Let me look at you. You have an age today. Oh, this is Captain Jim Kirk of the Enterprise. What the hell? Did she just oh, go grey yeah. all of a sudden? And crewman Darnell. Uh -huh. They're like all seen different versions of her. Oh, excuse me, sir, but... Ma'am, if I didn't know better, I would swear that you were somebody I left behind on Wrigley's Pleasure Planet. Maybe I'll step outside, too. What? And let Plum examine me all alone? Plum? Nickname I gave Leonard when we were very young. It's a bit touchy-feely for a married woman. I'll wait for the professor and I'll catch you. It's quite warm here, isn't it? So does it have to be someone that you were previously with, or just someone that you found attractive? Because for me, it'd probably be Angelique Kerber. <laughs> German tennis player. Do, do. I'm probably gonna have to mute this, aren't I? 
to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Professor Crater. And is the planet Captain doing this or is she doing this to them? Right, Captain. And whoever issues your orders to leave me and my wife alone. We need additional salt against the heat aside. I'm pleased to hear you're doing well, but I'm required to confirm that fact. Doubtless, the good surgeon. You've seen my wife with the eyes of your past attachment, Doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you see. But why did the other guy, Newman, was it? Why is he seeing her different way? Well, at any rate, she doesn't. Ooh. Your man is dead. Yeah, I knew he was gonna die. A red shirt. The first official red shirt of the series. McCoy. I've just lost a crewman, Mrs. Crater. I want to know what happened. Well, I... Noticed he had a Borgia plant in his hand. Before I could say anything, he... He'd taken a bite from it. The minute you look at me like you don't believe me. No, 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 no. It's not that at all. It's something entirely different. Salt. You did ask him about more salt tablets. I'll take care of the provisioning, Nancy. I think something more than just eating a plant killed him. Last subspace log contained an error in the frequencies column. Mr. Spock, sometimes I think if I hear that word frequency once more, I'll cry. <laughs> well, since it is illogical for a communications officer to resent the word frequency, I have no answer. No, you have an answer. I'm an illogical woman. <laughs> Let's see a bit of data in Spock, Jerry. Right? They report one death. Alkaloid poison. Chemical structure common to most Maybe class M planets. This man shouldn't be dead. I can't find anything wrong with him. According to all the tests, he should get up and just walk away from here. I swear, Jim, when I first saw her, she looked just as I'd known her ten years ago. Did he start to see her as Kirk saw her later? How your lost love affects your vision, Doctor, doesn't interest me. I've lost a mm -hmm. man. I want to know what killed him. He's dead right. Yes, sir. Member of the landing party. Dead by violence. Cause unknown. And Professor Crater and wife? Check out perfectly. They arrived here nearly five years ago. This man has no salt in his body Can at all. Can you explain that, Doctor? I can. He was extracted from him then. Ah, oh, there isn't a mark on his body. Or just... Some might think that you had more important duties than harassing people, Captain. I remember his me, I crew has died. You gotta ask some more questions. Things. Captain, you can't just be... Crater, I won't ask again. Possibly at the other diggings. We don't keep military laws. Green finder. Yes, sir. Goodbye. I wouldn't let someone go out there on their own after what happened to Alaska. Actually, the Borgia plant. A sudden total loss of it. Medically impossible by any standards. Both you and Mrs. Crater requested salt tablets. One of the missions of the Enterprise is to protect human life in places like this. I'm going to have to ask you and Mrs. Crater to stay aboard my ship. Oh, shit. Nancy! God. I said they shouldn't have sent them out on their own. Salt! Room and green, report! Look, she's given there. I think she did it. Oh, my God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sir, Sturgeon was dead when I found him. I was circling to find whatever it was. Same red rings on his face. Three to beam up. I wouldn't be sending anyone down again. Until they get some real information on the planet. Here. Break out the surface search equipment. I want coordinates on two people. Acknowledged. Well, if they're looking for coordinates, would they detect that Either that crewman is actually really her and right, she's up here on the ship? Who do you think you are? Yeah, maybe she'll be okay. Ooh. Something odd, Captain. Professor and Nancy Crater. Yeah. They're reading on only, only one, one of them. Person. Yeah. Probably Crater. With the search radius on the ship, you'll find her. What? I tacked them all, man. Be the great bird of the galaxy. Bless your planet. Hey, thank you. Sulu. Hello, Bogart. How are you today? Wants the salt. <laughs> what the hell is going on with the plant? 
He's the real spook. Suppose he's going space happy or something? Would you stop by and see if you can do something about it? Oh, she'll see like that. Bobby. It's kind of like a horror in a way, this episode. I like it, though. Definitely like it. Do I know you? In a way, ma'am. You were just thinking of someone like me. Knock her out of the train. How do I get this train back? Bye, Morgard. Wait a minute. I'll walk along. Just saved her life. All right, we'll triangulate on him. If you well, focus on explain what happened to his wife. searching the ship, you might be more successful. The doctor. Come in, come in. I've been worried sick about you. The others, they... Well, I... I don't relate to them as much as with you. You you have such strong memories of them. It makes me feel so... So safe. Feelings better. The thing is, can't he report us now that she's up here on the ship? Or would he be taken by her allure? And the fact that they were once together. Oh, Tie. <gasps> Look at his face! Sulu, trouble on deck nine, section two. We need a medical team. That might save bones. I need the medical team. Dr. McCoy to the bridge. Oh, shit. So wait. How come she didn't kill him, though? Apparently, the killer can immobilize them as it approaches, perhaps with some hypnotic or paralyzing power. Go away! We don't want you here! We? Where's your wife, Professor? We're concerned about her. Where's your wife, Professor? She's no concern of yours. We're worried about her safety. Well, Spock could find it. Your man Spock was actually dead. He beamed up to the ship with us. Yeah. Or something did. Finally cracked that code. Enterprise from Kirk. Bridge, Sulu. You have an intruder aboard. Could be masquerading as Crewman Green. Intruder alert. It'd be kind of terrifying. You've seen that like about five people have died. Your crewmen have died now. Reporting GQ three six. I'll kill to stay alone. You hear that, Kirk? Or you have to kill me. Sulu. A creature, or whatever it is that's killing the crewman. Seriously, don't you love those settings? I love those barren kind of wastelands. They just, they scream classic old, it's kind of Planet of the Apes as well, kind of a vibe. Crater? Is it his wife? Your wife, Professor, where is she? What's the last of her kind? What the hell does he mean by that? Earth history, remember? The passenger pigeon or a buffalo. The earth buffalo. What about it? Once there were millions of them. And now they're gone. Is that what you mean? But what's the link? Like, what's the here. analogy? Now there's one left. Nancy understood. Always in the past tense. Hmm. Is Nancy gone? Dead? Tra Dead? Buried up on the hill, it killed her. When? Oh, yeah. Sulu here. It's definite, Mr. Sulu. The intruder can assume any shape. The crewman, you, myself, anyone. Do you understand? Uh, Dr. McCoy? Yes. Medical department report, Doctor. Oh. Could offer it salt without tricks. There's no reason for it to attack us. It's kind of interesting because. Our muscles were designed for chase. Obviously, it's it threatening its the crew. The they need to de defend themselves in their lives, but just doing what I can to survive. Like us, it's you know, it's like... an animal. It... Professor, I'll forego charges up to this point, but this creature's aboard my ship. I'll have it, or I'll have your skin, or both. Now, where is it? In between the. I love the fact that it's just right there, listening to it all. Walks and sings in my dreams. And it becomes Nancy for you. Not because of tricks. It is intelligent. And the last of its kind. You bleed too much, Crater. 
too pure and noble. You saving the last of its kind, or has this become Crater's private heaven? Are you going to help us find it? Sorry, I can't. Recommend we use truth serum, Captain. Oh. Crater grabbed my phaser. Wondered about McCoy. Professor oh, Crater. God, it took him out as well. Dead. The blood salts are quite different. Oh. God, I said his life been involved. You want to get some before McCoy's taken out? Surely he's had enough salt at this stage. Doesn't need much more for now. They're trying to kill me. Don't let them kill me. Oh, easy, easy. Nobody's going. But to you won't help me. Are you insane? It killed four crewmen. Now it needs salt to live. Bones, move aside. No. If you love me, make him go away. Come on. You want this, Nancy? Come on, Nancy. Come and get. Get out of your mind. Get out of the way. There you go. She took it. Why is he frozen? It's killing the captain's soup, quick! I won't shoot Nancy. It's not Nancy. Nancy. Stop it! Oh. Even at the beginning, I think he was suspicious of her. Of what was what. The moment the truth you're gonna have to do. Holy crap! Like it had him in defending her. Jeez. But I don't understand why it shape shifted into its true form when Mackay was helping it. And it, and it no. Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry, Bones. I guess now for him as well, he has to realize that she is dead, and only now he can mourn. You know, not realizing that she died a year ago. I was thinking about the buffalo, Mr. Spock. Warp one, Mr. Sulu. Warp one, sir. Leave your Okay, so that was Season 1, Episode 1, The Man Trap. And I think th there's two sides to this episode that I really enjoyed. And I'll start first with, with the fact that you know, we have our creature, she, you know, it's our villain. But at the same time, it's like... I liked there was that conversation in the conference room where it's talking about this is the last of its species. And, like, it is essentially just doing what it can to survive. It's... As I said, it's not like just being um, vindictive or just going out of its way to do these evil things. It's just it's trying to survive, doing whatever it can. And even at the very end there, where Kirk talks mentions the buffalo, he's obviously thinking by himself, like, we have terminated the existence of this species. Like, obviously, they had to do it to survive, protect his, his crew members, you know. But there is that tinge of kind of sorrow that, like, this is the last of its line and now it's gone. So I thought that was... I like that 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 uh, you had this villain that they were up against, but even though they had no choice but to destroy it, there was that sense of sorrow in having to do it, you know. So I really liked that side of it, and then on the flip side, I just really liked that whole '60s vibe, that kind of little like the the, the creature, the, the costume. It looks a little cheap, a little cheesy, but I still really like it. I st it doesn't take me out of the episode I enjoyed that visual aesthetic in the show I just love that kind of stuff old movies just have that charm about them and old TV shows and, and this is no different um, again the setting that planet they went down to I love that just that setting it just it grips me into the story and what's interesting as well it's like that speech that was the final kind of uh, figure of that species so uh, a kind of an old civilization or, or, or species that's gone, that's waning. And the same with the planet. It was an old planet kind of almost in ruins, a barren wasteland. So I like that kind of um, that parallel too. So yeah, a very fun opening episode to get me into the series. So really looking forward to 
delving further into the TV show. Um, but guys, let me know your thoughts on the very first episode, The Man Trap. Uh, what did you like about it? What did you dislike about it? What were your, Did you kind of yourself feel that that whole thing with the dying species was a really effective aspect in the episode? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Uh, but until next time, Slongfall. <laughs>